guys how are you i'm good i'm here to do a book review on a book that i have been dying to do a review on for a couple weeks now um as you know i just moved so a lot of my stuff is still packed away and i'm kind of slowly moving items to where they belong um just because the different work schedules my husband and i have it's it's just slow moving so I'm finally able to do the book, and um, yeah, it is this book here. This is The Scent of Rain and Lightning. It's by Nancy Picard, and um, I just finished writing out all the answers to the book club questions in my journal. I do use my journals to uh, write out like answers to book club questions just so I can remember like the books I read and stuff like that because... I don't know I just like to keep memory of books I read for some reason but anyways um, this book I'm gonna give about six stars out of ten not because it was a bad book or a terrible book or anything um, but, but, but mostly because you know how when you read a book you're you either are kind of like oh that that's terrible and bored by it and you put it down and you don't ever go back to it or um, something about it makes you angry so you don't go back to it you put it down whatever or you just hate a book or whatever or maybe it was a terrible book but it was so terrible that you feel really passionately about it or maybe you know you just read a book and it was just kind of like eh whatever and then you move on or sometimes there's books in your life that you read that you're just like oh my god that was so good I couldn't put it down it was amazing my favorite book ever and it just goes on a list of like most favorite ever books well this book kind of moved slowly for me um at first it was kind of like oh you know it's okay but whatever and then I put it down for a couple weeks and then I didn't go back to it um and then when I picked it up it got better the only complaint that I have about it is that it felt like um she kept trying to go um from past to present too much to me and I got a little confused in some parts where I was just like is this the past or the present um just the way it was written um I figured it out obviously but there's a lot of you know it goes from the present to the past and then there's some parts where it feels like it's back in the present and then you realize you're still in the past so um it is a really good book though it really is don't get me wrong um i just recently found out that it's going to be a movie um so i am kind of curious about how they're going to do the transitioning from past to present and all that but other than that i give the book a six on a scale of one to ten and i liked it it was a really good book um if you like to do book club questions and you're interested in um you know just reading books with me and stuff like that we can definitely start something if you're interested just leave me a comment below um because i can definitely post book club questions in the description box and we can discuss them together or you guys can feel free to discuss them amongst yourself it's whatever you're interested in i recently started a new book lovers club on facebook um and i can't wait to get more people to do you know to be into that um it's a secret group right now but i if people are interested in adding me on Facebook and joining the Book Lovers Club, um, just let me know. I am willing to do that and open the book thing to open in public. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want a good book, I definitely do recommend this. Just know it's not on my list of favorites ever in the world. Um, and now I am reading a Jodi Picoult book again. I guess you guys probably know she's my favorite writer. So yeah, this book. If you guys enjoy these videos, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to, please do hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm here to wishing you guys infinite love and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.